headline this morning, Dems call on Edwards to address affair rumors. Former Senator John Edwards might have to move quickly to save his spot on the national stage. With two weeks before their national convention, several prominent Democrats are saying Edwards must publicly address the anonymously sourced National Enquirer stories that claim he had an affair with a campaign worker and fathered her illegitimate child. Uh Democrats gather in Denver on August 25th, and Edwards as the 2004 vice presidential nominee and a presidential candidate who won delegates this year ordinarily would be a speaker. And then they go on to quote Gary Pierce, the Democratic strategist who ran Edwards' 1998 Senate race. He says, absolutely, he does have to resolve this. If it is not true, he has to issue a stronger denial. It's a very damaging thing. The big media has tried to be responsible and handle this with kid gloves. Well, they've ignored it. They've yeah. put the orders out. <laughs> Don't report on it. He goes on to say, but it's clearly getting ready to bust out. If it is not true, he's got to stand up and say, this is not true. This is not my child. I'm going to take legal action against the people who are spreading these lies. He goes on to say it's not enough to say that that's tabloid trash. Yeah, because I guarantee you, the Inquirer, they're not stupid. With Edwards and all the money that this cat's got and the power that he possesses, if it were not true, he would already been on their case like a duck on a June bug, filing all sorts of legal uh, uh, case, you know, suits against them. And I don't think the Inquirer is dumb enough to go up against his money if they didn't really have the smoking gun, so to speak. Today, the National Enquirer, in fact, major headline, they claim they have photographs of Edwards holding up the illegitimate child in a hotel room in Los Angeles. Wow. You may have heard uh, a couple of weeks ago, they claim they caught him in a liaison at the hotel with the mistress and the child, and now they claim to have a photograph of Edwards holding up the child. The uh, newspaper in Charlotte says presidential candidates who lose in the primaries traditionally are invited to address the party's convention. Politico.com reported last month that Edwards told others he was promised a prime time speaking slot when he endorsed Senator Barack Obama. If Edwards fails to clear up the story in short order, he risks party officials deciding not to have him speak. Yeah. He's toast. If this is true, he's toast. Of course, he'll probably survive it. Uh, you know, Dems don't really run their own out for things like this. I give you Jesse Jackson and how he got away with having a love child and still seems to be pretty prominent in his arena. But I don't know. Edwards has got to address it. He can't let this just slide. You know, he either has to come out with both guns blazing in denial and file suits everywhere, or he's got to fess up to it and ask forgiveness and go on. Don Fowler of Columbia, South Carolina, is a former Democratic National Committee chair. He says if there is not an explanation that's satisfactory, acceptable, and meets high moral standards, the answer is no. He would not be a primetime candidate to make a major address to the convention. He'd do more harm than good. You know, to stand up and say we're for change and all this kind of stuff. And and there he is doing the old routine. And I'm not talking about just Democrat. I'm talking about Republican and Democrat abusing their office, their stance of power, and so on and so forth. You know, having a love child. Oh, my. Well, these Democrats are saying, in effect, this is a lot bigger than Edwards now. This could harm Obama. Yeah. They're, you know, well, you know. Look, they're big And they're not about to put Edwards on primetime TV if there's any hint of this being true. Oh, he'll be thrown under the bus. If this is true, he's gone. He's history. He's toast. Fowler goes on to say Edwards' political currency, which is his value as a public speaker and advocate, declines each day that the story goes unresolved. Yeah. An appearance at the convention would only highlight the unresolved story, according to Chris Lahane, a Democratic consultant and former aide to then-Vice President Al Gore. It's when the moment can drive the news media coverage. Lahane goes on to say you want to address these issues long before you get to that point. Otherwise, people who have not written about it before now start writing about it. Yeah, and that's a short fuse on this thing. And it could, you know, it, it's, it's like a volcano that's just fixing the top, fixing to blow off. Because he can't go anywhere now that this has hit the Enquirer. The pictures are out. He's got to address it. Every reporter in the world is going to ask him about it anytime he goes public. 
He, he's got to Well, they've been ordered not to ask him about it. But, you know, that they, is so wrong. They've been dying not to report it. You know, I tell you what, that is so wrong for any news agency to tell someone not to report something. That's crazy.